Hey guys, this is Lizette from Chrisette Designs. Thank you for purchasing my pattern. I'm going to show you how to join the ears on the koala rattle. This is Cola, and this one's going to be Kiki with the bow. They're twins, brother and sister. I think the seamless join, which is what I used to attach these, is the best method because you don't see the V grooves or the V's at the end when you make the ear. Here, I'll show you on this one. See the V's that are there. And when you normally, when I used to sew things on, I would just go through them and into the head. Uh, but then you see them on the edge. Whereas this method, it looks, gives the impression like it's a continuous crochet especially right in there. It looks really good. So yeah, it's a lot easier than it looks. So first, you get your head done. I stuck the bow on, but you could do that later. All right, so as the pattern says, we are going to attach the ear six stitches from the top. So I like to get some of these. To sort of hold it in place. So we go one, two, three, four, five, six. So I know the top of the ear should land here. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And then I sort of just stick a pin in there. And I'll do the same on this side just to plan it out before I start sewing. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, and then this part you sort of just want to use your own judgment and eye and decide, you know, how far forward or back you want to see the ear on the face. So I usually just look at the front mostly to make sure that the ears don't look too far back or forward. And this is why it's actually better to put the bow on later because now I'm stuck with, you know, wherever I put that bow kind of have to work with my ear placement. So, I'm gonna actually do the right ear first to make sure I like where it is with the bow. There's no um, up or down side to this. So I have it where the tail end is at the bottom. I can do it this way and just squish it the other way. And now the ear is going that way. So it doesn't matter. I just have it set this way. So you have them together, and then plan this part out. So you want to take the pin out and stick it into the corner of the ear, the first stitch basically, and then pop it back in and make sure you still have it where it needed to be. So one, two, three, four, five, six. We're still six rows from the top. And I push that down, hold that in place. I might bring the ear a little more forward. Yeah, let's, I'm gonna bring it forward one more stitch. So same row, the sixth one down from the top, and just coming forward one. And when you lay this out, this you want this curved which makes it a little harder to stitch it in, but it's going to be worth it in the end because then it looks more like an ear shape. And pin that down on the bottom end. And then this ear, same thing. You want to make sure now that from the top, you know, they're lined up. So I'm going to bring this up one and that looks about where I have the other one. And check the front, the side, until you feel happy about it. Alright, I'm actually going to show you the left ear because the lighting is better on that side. <laughs> Perfectly good reason. It's basically pretty much in a straight line. I think the bottom one I have a little farther back. 
however you like. I'm just gonna thread the end of the ear piece. I always use a bent needle. So much easier on amigurumi. The way the seamless joint works. So first, we're gonna go in right where I have that pin. So I'm gonna pull that out real quick. Go in and come up like that. So around a stitch. Pull that tight. Then you want to look for the very next V. Okay, and we're not going through both sides of the ear, just the front side. So we go up through the V stitch. Then back down into the same stitch we just came out of. Let me try to focus that, sorry. <laughs> so we just came up through here. We're going right back into that same exact hole. And then up the next one. And I'll show you'll see a little more as we go what that does. So let me just do it one or two more. So now we're gonna go up the next. V down into the same stitch we came up through. So we just went up this one. See how close I can get. We just came up that one. Now we're going right back into that same stitch. And also make sure you're keeping the ear where you need it to be. So a little push back in. So now I'm gonna come. Oops. Okay, down the one we went into. And instead of coming up right above it, I'm actually gonna come up diagonal so that I can keep the curve of the ear. And this is why the bent needle is so much easier. So I'm coming up that way. So instead of this hole, I went to that one. And always pull tight. We're gonna come up the next V. So not we already went through the head, now we're going through the ear, the, the V of the ear. Just push the ear back if it's in your way. Down into the same one we just came up in, into the head. up the next stitch or the next place that you you want to basically when you come up this is the one we just did and this is our next one so we're going to try to come up to it through a stitch that's close to that okay so see how we're right under the next stitch and that's the one we're going to come up Then down into the same one we just came up, which is right here. See where your next V lands. And come up there. It's okay if this pops off, we can always just put it back on. Just to hold it in place as we go. All right, up the next stitch on the ear, which is this one. So if you look at what we've done already, what happens is, let me see if I can get closer. Okay. So see how we're, we came up through the V? When it comes back down, it's when we pull tight like this, that V is getting pushed down in a way. So you don't see it anymore. So you can't tell as much that it's two pieces joined together. It has a more seamless look. 
So I'm going to do that all the way up the ear, connecting it to the head, coming up through a V, back down the same hole I came up, up the next spot that I want to come up. Okay, so you see how the back is not attached and we only attach the front. We're going to do the same thing all the way across the back of the ear. You see how you don't see the way those stitches lay on this side. Yeah. 